from the Organized Classroom blog. Hope everyone is well today. All right, so this is kind of part two to our using Google Docs and then using Fluberoo to grade series kind of thing. So on um, a couple days ago, I actually had many of you go to my blog, the Organized Classroom blog.com, and I posted in here a Google Docs quiz. Teachers in move it back up. Go and see all of my answers as well. Okay, so here they are. I think I had about 20 people um, fill it out. Okay, with their answers there, and I can see there are lots of different answers, so that one was kind of a tough one. I don't know that I could have gotten all the answers. All right, but what I want you to sh want to show you now is Fluberoo. Now, with Fluberoo, I've already installed it for this set here. You can see it right up here on my toolbar. Okay, so I want to open up a different doc. How about our baby animals quiz? Now, I don't have, I only have the answers that I did the other day from our video on how to create a Google Doc. Right there it is, my answer. Okay, but you'll notice I don't have Fluberoo up here on my toolbar. So for every document that you create that you want to use Fluberoo for, you're going to have to run the script on it again. So um, we're going to use this one to show you how to install it, and then we will go back to our teachers in literature and film one and I will show you how it actually works since it's already installed on that one. And we have lots of answers for that one. All right, so all you have to do is a Google search for Fluberoo. You go to Welcome to Fluberoo. It's fluberoo.com. And it shows you exactly how to use it. Okay, you can actually watch a three minute demo if you want to. Um, you do that, it's, it's, it's free, by the way. So it's pretty cool. You can see the different options they have. Um, as well. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Basically it says um, open this spreadsheet. Make sure you are logged in. Okay, so we're waiting for that to load, which that's it right there. Okay. Now we're going back to this. Before you can grade it, you need to make your own copy. Okay. Now, follow the instructions for grading. I always have to remember how to get back in here. Okay, so open the spreadsheet associated with the form. So really we don't need to open that spreadsheet. We just need this one. And it says from the insert menu, click script. Okay, so we go back to your Google Doc. You're going to go to Insert. You're going to go all the way down here to Script. And here's a bunch of different script galleries that you could run. Um, you can also search for it, and that's all we're going to do is do a Fluberoo search. There it is. We're going to install it. Just going to take a second here to install and let it run. Okay. So then, there we go. Okay, we're gonna authorize it. You can now run the script because it's installed. We're gonna close, and as you can see, now it's back up here. All right, so now we're gonna go back to the teachers in literature and film. And I want to show you exactly what you do to grade a, a quiz. Go to Fluberoo. Okay, we are going to regrade the assignment because I've already graded it. I want to kind of wanted to make sure that it worked. Okay, this will re replace our existing grades. Yes, I want to continue. Okay, now it's going to come up with step one where it is going to ask you about your grading options for each of your questions. Now, you have a choice between... One point, you, it's a student identifier such as name or if you want to skip that question. I told you there weren't a lot of options. That's why multiple choice is probably the best way to go. Okay, so one point for everything except for the name. The name question is identify student. Continue. And it's going to run. And the next one here 
basically it says select which submission should be used as the answer key. So I went ahead and answered, I put my answers in, here I am Mrs. Preston, I put my answers in the correct answer. So whatever you want as correct answers, you need to enter in, take the quiz yourself, enter in the correct answers because that's gonna be your answer key. So click the person that has the correct answers that you know, which is probably gonna be you, click continue. And it's grading your assignment right now. And here we go. The grading is complete. Okay, now we can view the grades. Now, this shows each individual student and what their percentage was. Okay, so ooh, Jen's pretty good here. She, she got 100% on it. Um, Kirsty was not so good, only got a 10%, which I have to tell you was actually me that I wanted to test it out and I just clicked whatever. Um, lots of, lots of interesting scores you can see. The part that I really like for this is it basically does an item analysis for you. So it shows you for number one, the average score out of all your students, um, the average total was a 37-ish percent on that question. And that, if they're in orange, it can see what the questions are that you really need to go over in your classroom. Now, of course, you, this is in a spreadsheet, so certainly you could copy these grades over into a grade book as well if you needed to. And I know there's lots of different ways to do that. You can certainly look at the data, different things as well. The last thing that I wanted to show you, you can go back to the student submissions and actually see. And then if you want to go back to their grades, you can click right back down here on this tab at the bottom as well. Okay, so it, it kind of shows you that. And that's pretty much all there is to Flubaroo. The last thing that you can do is you can email grades to um, the students as we talked about before. Um, if you wanted to email them the quiz, you can also email them their grades. Um, you can view uh, the report as well, and it shows you this as well, points possible, average score, how many submissions you have all together. Okay, and you can email yourself the report as well. So that's all there really is to Flubaroo. All you're going to do is go to Insert, Script, and then you're going to type in in the search box Flubaroo, search for it, and install it on any Google Doc that you want to grade. So I hope that's been helpful for you. It's really easy. I would be able to use it in the classroom so many different ways just for quick checkups and whatnot. So I hope you have enjoyed. Please make sure to click on this red banner at the bottom of the screen and click subscribe so you get subscribed to my YouTube channel and you can get all my videos beforehand. And make sure you visit the blog, organizedclassroomblog.com. All right, we'll talk to you later. Thanks so much. Bye.